There's some new fuckhead on my video. Well, actually, not a new fuckhead, as I'll explain in a bit. Named Lin Kuei, commenting a whole bunch of bullshit. Um, you know, saying that uh, Ninja Two is fake. That Sumi's a fraud. Blah 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 blah. All the same bullshit. Of course, this guy, as you can guess, since his name is Lin Kuei, claims to study the art of the Lin Kuei, uh, which is forest demons. The um, people that Sub Zero is based on. Uh, if you know the history of them, they're a made-up group that was created by a guy calling himself Li Xing um, in the late 70s, early 80s, to jump on the whole ninja bandwagon. Li Xing is actually a person named Randall Brown. This dipshit, uh, Lin Kuei on my video, I was uh, doing some research to try and figure out some more information to thoroughly destroy him. And oddly enough, it took it my it took me back to my own thing that I dealt with him before, but he blocked me on my own account, so he can't see any of this. So he can't uh, read any of my stuff. So here's a fucking video for you to destroy your stupid bullshit ideology. Anyway, he claims Li Xing is not Randall Brown. So what we do? Go back to Black Belt Magazine. December 1984. There's two books by Li Xing. One is uh, the Ch the Ninja's Chinese Connection or the Chinese Ninja Connection or whatever. Um, and then another one that has a similar title. It's about the Lin Kuei. Um, they were written by Li Xing, as I said. And he claims, oh, that old chestnut that Li Xing is Randall Brown. So we go back to this Black Belt magazine issue, December 1984, and there's a letter to Black Belt from someone named Randall Brown, Fort Collins, Colorado, and he says, uh, you know, oh, Steve Hayes is a dick for saying, uh, I'm paraphrasing, that uh, the Lin Kuei are bullshit. You know. So Steve Hayes was calling, he, Steve also in this uh, issue says that um, he's afraid of the commercialization of ninjutsu, with it, which is hilarious. And, uh, you know, yeah, obviously. So, um, what happens is, this guy says that, oh, the, uh, the Lin Kuei were f uh, from the Shang Dynasty, which was, uh, he says, um, 1523 to 1028, which is actually wrong. It's 1600 to 1046 BC. But um, aside from that, he says, and then during the Tang Dynasty, they fled to Korea and became the Sosa. We know Sosa is bullshit. It was another bullshit idea to cash in on the ninja craze, just like his little Chinese pretend ninja group. And, uh, then he, you know, quotes Steve Hayes saying, oh, you know, the um, origin of the ninja, Tokakuryu story, all that kind of stuff. He says, that, oh, those were the Lin Kuei, they just moved to Japan. Um, that's actually not what it said in the, you know, well, I'm not even going to go into that part. So, anyway, he writes, you know, all this stuff, and then it says, Randall Brown, author of the Chinese Ninja Connection, blah, 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 the same title as the book that uh, is Xing Li. So, there you go, fuckhead. This fucking guy, the author of the book, says he's the same person. So, if you want to say that they're not, then you're just fucking stupid and wrong. By the way, Li Xing is two surnames. It's like Hayashi Nakashima. And, um, you're mixing languages, too. One is Mandarin, one's Cantonese. So, it's double fucked up. It's a white guy who doesn't speak the fucking language, or languages, technically. Um, you know, and of course there's no proof that this guy's teacher existed. And then he goes on and he actually met a Comanche Indian. And he learned their martial art. But they can't prove that teacher existed. But it's okay, because after that he went on and, and he uh, met these Tibetan monks and he learned their martial arts. But we can't prove they existed either. But that's fine, because they we could definitely prove his next step when he went and he met the guy who's um, been training in... Uh, the system of pancration, which uh, or pancratos, which has been coming down uh, unbroken since the first Olympics. So obviously, we have proof that that guy existed because this guy's been with like fucking four secret teachers, and you know he's always you know not had a camera maybe or forgot what their name was. I don't know. So obviously we have. Oh no, we don't have any proof that that guy existed. It's okay though, because. Now he's um, he's training MMA fighters who have who have all been in the UFC, but uh, yeah, he can't tell us their names because you know he has a privacy contract. He can't tell us any of those people. So, but yeah, he did all this shit. He it's all one hundred percent real. 
because he says so. So there you go. You know. This kid is a fucking retard. This guy. I'm, you know. And then he goes on to further prove that he has no fucking knowledge of how anything works. He goes, oh, you know, well, let's see Ninja use uh, Shuko and Ashiko to climb a wooden castle. Well, one, Ashiko isn't a word. It's Soko. Two, castles in Japan weren't made of wood. They were made of stone. Three, you don't use Shuko for climbing stone. Uh, he also says you can't hold a sword of Shuko. If you know how to use Shuko, you can hold a sword with Shuko. There's more than one way of doing it. There's, you know, the way that we know, obviously, if you want to actually grab it and hold it. Or there's the easy way, which, you know, if you know who we, what we're talking about, if you know what Soke has shown, there's that uh, that way of doing it. Um, you know. Anyway, if you wanted to climb a uh, castle wall, you could use a kunai, you could use Rokusen, you could use all this kind of stuff, you could use Kaginawa. There's, you could put your... I'm not, why even fucking bother explaining how this works because this kid is a fucking idiot and has no idea what he's talking about. You're not gonna be, uh, fucking Wolverine using the Shuko, uh, climbing up like that, like you're Spider Man. You know, it's for climbing trees. That's the point. You know, it's, and he's talking about bullshit Chinese made, well, that's what he's used to, Chinese made bullshit. Dealing with, or technically a white guy made pretend Chinese bullshit. But, um, yeah, prove any of my fucking things that I just said are wrong. Prove any of this exists, you know. Go, in t go into Google. Type it in Chinese. I went and typed it in Chinese, you know. I don't speak Chinese, but I can read enough to know that <laughs> there's no fucking evidence of it. So, there you go. You want to talk shit? The guy who you're claiming is uh, not the guy who you're claiming. Says he's the guy who you're claiming. It's weird. Well, fuck you. The end. Bye-bye.